Deanna, tonight, universes collide here at Multiverse of Matches, which means anyone can show up to answer your champ champ challenge. The entire map of school is learning when you mess with the bowl, you get the boards. Before all of you, it's the raining! World Champion. Oh my God! Tayo Valkyrie is back in Impact Wrestling! The longest reigning Knockouts World Champion of all time! That championship represents decades and decades of tradition and mucha libre and culture. That's what I read, that's what I live. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, Taya. The woman that sent you packing running. My champion out of Impact Wrestling was just the champ, the virtuosa, Deanna Perazzo. I mean, we all know she's a champ champ because she won't stop saying it. Well, in order to shut her mouth, I had to come all the way back here to Impact Wrestling. And you know that reign of the reina's title? I never lost it. In a rebellion, I will become a four-time Lucha Libre, Vidbea, Reign of the Reina's champ. If you want to date for rebellion, you got it. But the result will always be the same. Champ, champ is forever here. Two longtime rivals meet once again here at Rebellion. It is Taya Valkyrie's first match in the Impact Zone in well over a year. Valkyrie and Perazzo for the AAA Reina de Reina's title right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the next match is for the AAA Reina de Reina's championship set for one fall. Introducing first the challenger from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Toya! Valkyrie! That's the real one. Wherever Ty Valkyrie goes, she certainly goes in style, and she really crashed the party at the multiverse of matches in style. Oh, I know. Don't remind me. Look, is it exciting to have Ty Valkyrie in Impact Wrestling once again? Of course, a world-class athlete. But to pick that moment, to step on the virtuosa's moment, to me, big, big mistake. Deanna Perrazzo has been rolling as of late as the double champion, holding both the Ring of Honor and the world title. The champ, champ, get it right. And the AAA Arena Day Arena's championship on her shoulder. Can Taya Valkyrie end that right now? Her opponent from Hackettstown, New Jersey. She is the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion and the defending AAA Reina Durena's Champion, the Virtuosa Diana Perrazzo. You asked the question, can she defeat the Virtuosa? Sure, and we all can dream of a better life. You can dream of someone actually liking you one day, but the challenge is, will it actually happen? Me says no. Deanna Perrazzo is the last person to have beaten Taya Valkyrie here within Impact Wrestling. It was back in January 2021, the Hard to Kill event. And it was Deanna Perrazzo that moment successfully defended her new Knockouts World Championship against Taya Valkyrie. Valkyrie would then leave for an extended period of time to pursue opportunities elsewhere. In the process of doing that, Valkyrie also had to vacate her then third AAA Reina de Reina's title back in 2021. She had reigned at the time for 528 days. If there is someone in this matchup who knows how much that AAA Reina de Reina's title means, it is Taya Valkyrie. But this is a different virtuosa than even she knew. This is the champ champ. Clearly, this crowd in Poughkeepsie is loco. 
because they're not chanting for the Virtuosa. Chance of La Huera Loca. And a heads up information for tickets regarding our Citrus Brawl on May 13th and May 14th, available now at impactwrestling.com. Tickets are on sale. Join us in the greater Orlando area. Right now, Rebellion full speed ahead here in Poughkeepsie, New York, live on pay-per-view and Fight TV. Oh. And what a start to this matchup. Valkyrie trying to control Peraza. Well, she's digging into that oh. Lucha Libre background of hers. Something she's very familiar with. Obviously, as it three-time Triple A Raider Arena's champion looking to make it four here tonight. Cross body and then a drop kick here, and Valkyrie is pushing the pace. Now, I'd say within the Champ Champ Challenge, the only thing really like Valkyrie, hold on to win the title, there's a cover and a kick out. The only person really like Valkyrie that Perrazzo has experienced has been Fabi Apache at Multiverse of Matches, a four-time Triple A Reina de Reina's champion, similar luchadora style, but still, Valkyrie is completely different. But I was I was going to make the point of another incredible Triple A Reina de Reina's champion in Fabi Apache, but who beat her? Deanna Perazzo, your current champ champ. And back at Triple Mania 29 in August of last year, 252 days. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and Valkyrie calls that pandemonium, the snap German suplex off the ropes. Ah, no. Now Valkyrie with the knees here. Just beating up on Perazzo on the outside of the ring. Now she better keep her eyes on the champ champ. Because Deanna Perrazzo can turn this thing around very, very quickly. And it's trying to drive the crown of the skull into the post, and instead, it's Perrazzo who turns it around. What did I tell you? It's like I say it and it happens. This, this, I, I have some kind of magical power. Maybe it's just this connection me and the Virtuosa have, but I knew. She could turn it around just like that. Near clairvoyant. Something like that. Valkyrie tossed back inside the ring. Perazzo in pursuit. E right to the spine, and here comes the Virtuosa. This is what Deanna Perazzo does best. This is why, at least in her champ champ challenges, she's Ooh. seven and oh. Because when she gets the advantage, she steps on the gas. She does not let up. A lot of people, they get an opening, they take time to oh. breathe, they take a moment. But no, 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 no. There's a cover to retain her Triple A Reina de Reina's title and a kick out. I will say I've been impressed by Perazzo considering the talk surrounding the interim Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, that being Mercedes Martinez, and no doubt a future date against Perazzo for her Ring of Honor Women's World Championship. Interim, interim, interim. We all know who the real champ is, oh, and they're in the center of the ring here. Koji Clutch after the flatliner. And now it's Valkyrie. Valkyrie trying to change position. Shoulders down and a kick out. Good counter from oh. Valkyrie, but great wherewithal from Perazzo to kick out there as well. Cannot understate the magnitude of Taya Valkyrie being back here in Impact Wrestling. It completely changes the knockouts division. Now Perazzo sent to the floor. Again, I won't argue that it raises the level of talent here. It raises the stock of the entire knockouts division. But one thing remains the same. The Virtuosa is at the top of it no matter what. Now Perazzo trying to corral Valkyrie. Oh my God, back first into the apron. The referee was at a count of four. He has stopped his count to check on both these wrestlers. That was gorgeous. And is Valkyrie screaming out in pain. Remember, champion's advantage, of course, to Perazzo. Title cannot change hands. Oh, be a count out or disqualification. Big contact on the outside, and Valkyrie's trying to recover. That beautiful counter into that almost Russian leg sweep into the side of the ring, into that steel girder that sets up our ring here. Count of seven. Perazzo and Valkyrie have got to get back into the ring. You see, the Virtuosa, she could have taken a count out victory. She could have just stayed on the floor. Count of 10. These two women hate each other. No matter how much time apart, those feelings won't die. A lot of bad blood 
And when that bell rings, it all comes swirling back for both these competitors. Oh. Big forearm shiver there by Valkyrie. Oh. Oh. Now set off there by Perrazzo. Oh, and an A right to the face. And Valkyrie able to drop the champion no, no. to win the title in a kick out. Yeah, you want to keep your head in this, Taya. The Virtuoso will not go down without a fight. Now, Taya Valkyrie, hold on a second. Is she thinking about Road to Valhalla? Trying to set it up here, it looked like for a moment. She's trying, but Deanna knows that she's trying to set that up. Huge pump kick. And now Perot's oh. on the standing knees, right to the midsection, and a kick out by the challenger. But now Deanna oh, looking to close this one out, got the armbar on. Fuji want an armbar by the Virtuosa. Beautiful placement here, too. Look at the hand of Taya Valkyrie. It's about to tap. Uh, Valkyrie knows this pain, trying to get to the bottom rope. Can I have to? Out. This will break the submission. And uh, Perrazzo uses the bulk of the five count and finally breaks. Use every second you got. Do as much damage as humanly possible. Oh! Fend it off by Valkyrie. And now the question is there, how much damage did that armbar do? Because oh. you know Deanna Perrazzo is going to go back to it again and again. Now Perrazzo trying to rip Valkyrie off the top turnbuckle. Valkyrie keeps fighting. Now trying to rip the Virtuosa from the second rope. Now Valkyrie ducks away. Valkyrie. Oh, oh turned it into a single no, no, no. bomb. Perrazzo kicks out. Oh, and look at this. Valkyrie's not done. I mean, incredible resilience there from Deanna Perrazzo to kick out of that power bomb. But now in a bad, bad way. Reach. Submission for submission between these two. The cross leg and STF. She's got to crawl. She's got to dig down deep and get to that rope. That and does. she does. Beautiful. Two women who know each other so well, know each other's game so well. And I have faith that oh. new. What great counter, always oh. been able to pick a spot right into the leg bar there on Taya. Al Valkyrie trying to get out oh. the hard way. But that is why the Virtuosa is one of the best technical wrestlers in the world. Oh. Turn inside out. And now Perrazzo to put away the challenger kick out by Valkyrie. And obviously frustration building in both wrestlers, but Deanna Braz are looking to put this one away. Oh, thinking about the Queen's Gambit. Thinking about the Queen's Gambit. Come on, you just gotta wear her down. Put it away. One more move and it's yours. Oh, no, 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 no. Wants it. No! To Valhalla! You gotta be, you gotta be. The no! champ is no more. Valkyrie is champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Triple A Reina Duranas champion, Toya Valkyrie! Her first match at Impact Wrestling in over a year. Her first night back, and she becomes Triple A Reina Duranas champion for a record time, fourth time. Congratulations you to Toya Valkyrie. Can we review the footage? Can we, can we call that back? Look. You know what? Very well, we can. Here's a replay. Moments ago, Taya Valkyrie able to get right, see. with Deanna Perrazzo. Road to Valhalla, and that was all she wrote. I'm speechless, Tom. What an impressive, impressive win from Taya Valkyrie. Congratulations to Luana Luca, the new AAA Arena Day Arenas champion.